Right, a very good morning to you all. I hope we're all good. It's Friday the 22nd of December 2023, just three days away now from the big day itself. And we're here to take a look at the weather forecast for the UK for the next two days. Well, we are a country of contrasts this morning. We've got very mild air across many parts of the UK, but towards the north of the UK, more particularly the northeast of Scotland and Shetland, it's a different world. And if you'd followed the forecast yesterday, we were speaking about the potential for some snow overnight into the morning over in Shetland. And that is the case. Yesterday, it was all green and grey. And today we've woken up to a light dusting. Right. We're going to now just take a look at those current temperatures across the UK. It is cold across the far northeast. That is reflected in the current minimum temperatures. Minus two up on the Cairngorm summit, as you would naturally expect at 1,200 metres. But Belter Sound in Shetland is sub-zero, as is Annetmore and Lerwick. So, yeah, the cold air isn't far away, but it is staying out of the way for now. This is in contrast, as I've mentioned, to the south of the UK, where it's exceptionally mild once again. 12 degrees is top of the hot at Lyd Airport in Kent. That's just 20 miles down the road from me here in Folkestone. But many stations across central southern Britain are above 11 degrees. Right, so what we're now going to do is we're going to take a look at the radar. And there is rather a lot of cloud across the UK this morning. Most of it is light, but in places... It is a little bit heavier, more especially over the higher ground towards the, the west of Scotland. And I noticed there's a heavier band across places like Lancashire and uh, up towards Cumbria. But yeah, to all intents and purposes, it is a rather grey and it is a rather drizzly morning. And that is all in association with a warm front that is straddling the west of the UK. And there's another one further east as well so nowhere is really immune from the light rain and drizzle but just of note just take a look towards the north of scotland that is where that colder air is and this is where things are going to get quite interesting late in the day just notice over towards scandinavia there's that deep area of low pressure that was the troublemaker yesterday that was storm pier that actually took rather a lot of snow across southern Sweden overnight. And this is Gothenburg this morning at the name of a park. I can't remember what it was, but yes, all looks very exciting there, doesn't it? With a little bit of snow on the ground as well. So what we're now going to do is we are going to take a look at that weather warning that is in effect. It was placed yesterday morning by the UK Met Office. It is in effect from nine o'clock tonight until uh, I believe 10 o'clock tomorrow morning or should I say well midday tomorrow morning I think it's going to be updated in the next hour so do keep uh, in touch with the forecast but really what they're talking about is the snow is expected to develop across north and northeast Scotland during Friday night before gradually turning to rain during Saturday initially the snow will be reserved for hills above around 200 meters but through the night Snow is likely to fall to lower levels for a time, with the cold air slowly being replaced by mild air from the southwest. There is some uncertainty in accumulations across this warning area. However, some low level locations may see two to five centimetres, while accumulations of 10 to 15 centimetres are likely to be reserved for higher ground above around 200 metres. An additional, albeit temporary hazard, will be the chance of ice, mainly over higher ground as that rain turns, uh, or that snow turns to rain tomorrow morning. So lots to keep an eye on. And if we now just take a look at the WX chart, we're going to run the GFS model, the zero run, and we're going to look to see how this precipitation band is going to play out as it moves further northeast. And we're going to just take a look at how that impacts the south of the UK as well. So no prizes for guessing. We've already seen on those weather charts that there is a front across the UK this morning. And what will happen as the day progresses is that front weakening as it does so, straddling across by that point, northern England and northern Ireland, down to sort of East Anglia, Norfolk and Suffolk. Though during the course of the day, just notice how that precipitation 
to the west of Scotland starts to intensify. And then by nine o'clock this evening, that's that warm front that will be pushing northwards. That will be trying to take the milder air into Scotland, but it will come up against some resistance in the form of that cold air that will be sitting there. And that rain will turn to snow. So the warnings are very valid and the GFS is painting quite a snowy picture for many parts of the Grampian regions up towards the north of Scotland and also towards Orkney. Aberdeen, that could be a place to watch. I wonder if that snow will get down to low levels though. Right, this is three o'clock tomorrow morning. So that heavy rain is now pushing across many parts of central and southwest Scotland. Probably quite a wet night for many up there. And then only tomorrow morning does that band of rain then pushing its heavy snow into the far northeast of Scotland just gradually push out the way. So I think by sort of nine, ten o'clock tomorrow morning, Aberdeenshire should be free of the uh, the snow. We'll be in the milder air here only by that stage by midday tomorrow. It'll be the far northeast of Scotland that will be in the cold and potentially snowy air. By tomorrow afternoon, the mild red does sweep further uh, north. And I think probably by the end of the day, even by mid, well, towards midnight going into Sunday, mild air has swept all the way up towards Shetland. So we'll just now just take a quick look at the, uh, the, the summary in regards to the symbols for tomorrow. And then we'll have a look at the ensembles. If you've been following the forecasts, we do like to have a little peek into the future just to see if there's any cold spells looming so we'll have a little check of that before we all draw it to a close but suffice to say these are your um, your symbols today it's uh, across the south of england it is right well it's very mild 12 possibly 13 degrees there's that band of rain just sitting across the area from norfolk through sort of northern england up towards the lake district and southwest scotland Notice there's already a little bit of snow falling over the higher ground of Scotland and across the far northeast of Scotland. It's clearer, but it is cold. Brighter weather pushing in to the southwest. Tomorrow, an improved day, a brighter day for many parts of the UK. Dry and fine with very little amounts of clouds and sunny skies and temperatures once again very mild in the range of 10 to 12 degrees. And even across Scotland, where you were cold today, eventually that too that you will see over Aberdeenshire will no doubt be warming up later on in the day. Right, the hunt for the cold spell. So what we're going to do is we are going to just have a look um, at those 850 HPAs. Remember, these are generally the temperatures that we look for uh, if we're looking for the body of the air mass to see if there's anything cold on the horizon. And I think there is, you know, fair to say there is a bit of a cooling trend uh, immediately after Christmas, um, there's a little bit, and then towards the 28th through to New Year and beyond, there are some signals that things will be starting to cool down. But those ensembles are not tightly packed at the moment, so we can only really, we can't put any real confidence on it. But cold air isn't too far away. And if we just take a look at the mean 850 HPA temperature, this is a, a conglomeration of all of the models uh, runs this is through the ecm this is 50 different runs this time or should we say on the 28th of december the mean run is showing mild across the south still quite a deep area of low pressure so becoming unsettled over that christmas week and the minus five line once again hugging precariously to the north of scotland will it march further south as we move into the closing days of the year into the new year Watch this space. Keep in touch with these forecasts. <clears throat> anyway, I've, uh, I'm have i going to get back to my day now. A lot of wrapping to do. Um, so suffice to say, have a lovely day. Look after yourselves and ciao for now.